How to build a starter storage house. With 180 chests, this storage room gives you space for over 300,000 items. These are all the materials that you'll need to build along with me today. To begin, start by planning the layout on the ground. Use any block of your choosing to mark out where the pillars will be and turn the grass into path blocks like shown to mark out the location of the walls. The door represents where the entrance will be to help you position the build in your world. Build up pillars using stripped spruce logs on the locations we just marked out. The left and right side should be mirrored and it's a good way to check that everything has been built correctly. Replace the grass inside the marked out area with oak planks. Use stripped oak logs instead for the two blocks at the front of the house. On either side of those stripped oak logs, build up four high cobblestone walls. Add another row on top, followed by two more blocks in the middle. And using two upside down stairs, let's create a small arch at the top of the entrance. Add four trapdoors to the inside of both pillars at the front of the build. Get yourself on top of the wall and place a strip spruce log above both trapdoors. In between the logs, place slabs, followed by two more logs on top. In front of both pillars, add a barrel with a stair on top. Head to the back of the house and build up four high cobblestone walls with a two wide gap in the middle. Add a row across the top, followed by two more blocks in the middle. Jump down to the ground and add two blocks at the bottom of the gap. Fill the hole with glass panes to create a window. At the back of the house, we're gonna mirror the exact same design that we built on the front. So follow along with me and let's build it up. Moving to the left side of the house, let's build up four high cobblestone walls in between the pillars. Let's fill in the gaps in between the pillars on the right side of the house as well, again using cobblestone walls. Head on inside and fill the entire left wall with chests. Stack them five high and make sure they are facing the front of the house. Hold your crouch button while placing the chests to avoid opening them. Again, while holding crouch, place another chest on the side of each chest we just put down. This will turn them into double chests. Let's mirror the same design on the right side of the house. Heading to the right side of the house, place a row of 15 dark oak slabs in front of the top of the pillars. They should stick out so they are in line with the barrels. Repeat the same design on the left side of the house as well. Get yourself on top of the build and place spruce planks in the same place as I do. Next, let's build the roof line. Place another slab on top of the right slab, followed by a full block, two more slabs, another full block, and four slabs in the middle to create the roof peak. Mirror the same design on the left until you reach the center. Let's build the exact same roof design on the back of the house as well. Add another row of slabs on top of the already placed slabs at the right of the house, following which we'll place a row of full blocks, Add two rows of spruce slabs. And cap off the roof with a two wide row of dark oak slabs. Head to the left side of the roof and let's mirror the exact same design we just built.
jump back down to the ground, and let's finish up the interior. Replace the two oak planks at the back of the house with crafting tables. On the ceiling, add a combination of trapdoors and lanterns to light everything up. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and kudos to all of those who built it along with me. And as always, a very special thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and happy building!